U.S. President Donald Trump is showing strong support for the decision of several Middle Eastern countries to completely sever ties with the tiny Gulf state of Qatar, which they accuse of supporting terrorist groups. And he apparently feels he played a part in getting them to do that. Noanam reports. A series of tweets from Mr. Trump on Tuesday appeared to show him taking credit for Qatar's isolation. He said his recent trip to the Middle East was already paying off, praising his own anti-Islamist speech he made in Saudi Arabia as the inspiration for the Arab nation's decision to sever ties with Qatar. Mr. Trump said he hoped the move would be the beginning of the end to the horror of terrorism, pointing the finger at Doha for backing extremist groups, allegations the tiny Gulf state strongly denies. The Qatari foreign minister said his country was the victim of collective punishment by other countries led by Saudi Arabia, but added Doha was ready to resolve the issue. Qatar is home to the biggest U.S. military airbase in the Middle East, and Washington officials say operations have not yet been affected, but this could change if the diplomatic row between Qatar and the U.S. Arab allies continues. Mr. Trump's comments also undercut efforts made by his own staff who are trying to play down the rift between the Arab nations. After the tweets, White House spokesman Sean Spicer said the U.S. was in communication with all parties to resolve issues and restore cooperation. The United States continues to be in close communication with all the parties to resolve the issues and restore cooperation, which is so important to regional security there. Uh, I think the, there is note that his message of toughness on terror finance and extremism is being heeded by countries in the region. Uh, but the U.S. still wants to see this issue uh, de-escalated and resolved immediately. On Monday, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates gave Qatari nationals two weeks to leave, banned their own citizens from traveling to Qatar and cut all transport links. Egypt, Yemen, Libya and the Maldives also severed ties with Qatar. Saudi Arabia said relations with Doha can only be restored if it stops funding extremists, but Riyadh has also been accused of doing the same. President Trump's tweets could have a huge strategic impact in the region as the airbase in al Udaid is where the U.S. military plans and carries out airstrikes on the Islamic State in Syria and Iran. Noaram Arirang News.